You could choose the confetti or celebrate a big evening out. For previous New Year's Eves, we've searched for the hot ticket. This year, follow the lights. The Avenue will be a happening place. Surf's up. Coney Island, iconic, family-friendly. There'll be music and no waiting for hours. The focal point this year is the parachute jump, so there'll be a light sequence coming down to count down the 10 seconds to midnight. Fireworks are also scheduled at Prospect Park and Central Park. Blogs and neighborhood associations have advertised extravaganzas of all kinds along small business corridors and at restaurants with a view. For many, the best venue of all is Home Sweet Home. Erica Turner just finished up her advanced degree. A whole lot of work, <laughs> a lot of papers, but it's over and I'm happy and I'm just ready to celebrate the new year. So everyone is coming over to celebrate my accomplishment and then the next day we're taking a plunge. She'll be heading to Coney Island on New Year's Day around lunchtime for the 116th annual Coney Island Polar Bear Plunge. We had 4,500 people plunge with us, um, and this year it looks like it might be even bigger. It's just high energy. Great way to usher in the new decade. Yeah, I guess. It seems like cold. You, you've done it I before? did it this year, yes. It's not that bad. It's really exhilarating. If you're staying in or heading out, may you be safe and in a relatively good mood. Thank a transit worker for keeping things moving. Normal L train service on uh, New Year's Eve, Sunday service on New Year's Day. In Manhattan, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.